I'm Aaron Gallo. I'm Marty Hogan. And I'm Eric Perry. And we're from the Starfleet Escape Podcast. And you're listening to another great Four Eyed Radio product. For more shows, check out FourEyedRadio.com. It's your good pal, Steve-O, from the 4i Radio Network. I'm here to talk to you about a wonderful designer we all know, uh, Revenge Lover. Illustrates and designs that fit your personality. For samples and inquiries, please visit revengelover.com. And just do yourself a favor and tell them Steve-O sent you. I know it really doesn't count for anything, but, I mean, come on. Who's gonna, who are you going to trust? You're going to trust somebody else? No, you're going to trust me, Steve-O. Because, face it, I'm awesome. Hey, what's happening? How you doing? Welcome back. Another week. Probably inappropriate. We missed you last week. <laughs> what the heck are you? Are you a TV show host now? Yeah. <laughs> hey, how we doing? You're super Probably loud, inappropriate. Dude. Back away from the mic. Oh, You're back? super duper loud. Holy shit, man. Hi. Uh, the voice you hear is that of Chappelle Lacey. How you doing, Chappelle? I'm Nancy good. just got in. How you doing, Nance? I'm speaking with a soft voice. Because... <laughs> you can speak loud. I know, right? <laughs> For people listening, we don't want to blow speakers in cars. I like this heavy metal voice. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> hey, how we doing? Real quick off the top, my name is Kevin Elliott, one of your two co-hosts of the show with Nancy Garrigus, the other co-host, yeah. You can follow me on Twitter at I am Kevin Elliott, the same thing on Instagram at I am Kevin Elliott, and on Facebook, Kevin Elliott, and follow the show on iTunes and any other podcast thing, rate it, like it, five stars, leave reviews, and uh, we'll send you... A portrait of Nancy's new baby that she's going to have. Uh, Nancy will draw it and then uh, Nancy will draw it. <laughs> send it out. And then uh, show, guys, uh, Saturday, this coming Saturday, this Saturday, November 28th, stand up Scottsdale in the side room, the taffy room is what it's called. Uh, me and Sam Tripoli, Chris Centeni, and Jared Campbell. We are doing two shows, 7.30 and 9.30. Tickets are $15. Go to the show. It's a door deal. <laughs> Chappelle's <laughs> looking at me like, what? It's, what? It, that's, that's how we make money. Um, Is this a matinee? It's going to be crazily awesome. Uh, we're not holding anything back. We're literally bringing fire the whole night. So go. 7.30 and 9.30. Stand Get up Scottsdale here. side room. <laughs> Um, so yeah, man. We didn't start the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he says. Uh, Chappelle, shoot everything. Shoot. <laughs> oh. Hey, so shoot everything. Gonna, shoot you everything. All right, watch. Um, Please watch the letters. What's up? I mean, how you? I mean, two hundred episodes later, Kevin's telling me how to sit. <laughs> no, watch the levels. On I there. always do. <laughs> Get it levels. <laughs> Chappelle's with how's, levels. How's is my? Am I okay with like? Right You're here? fine. Just talk. You're fine. Be loud. Well, you said I, I was really loud. Because well, 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 when it hits the red you on You're like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> I heard you from the parking lot, but I don't know what he's talking about. Dude, can you don't, please? Don't be a dick. When it, it hits down. red on there, it blows speakers, people's speakers. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to tone it down. How often does that happen to you? Never. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, never. No, really, never. I don't think that's ever happened. Oh, school. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, excuse cool. me, uh, Chappelle? <laughs> what uh, students are trying to learn? Do you have anything you want to promote? Social media? Anything you got? Um, just my face in general. Just go to my Facebook and look at me. Your okay. Face. Cool. Like <laughs> so okay, cool. Oh, I don't know. That was there. That bottle of water was already there. It's cold. That's my bottle of water then. Okay. Here's your bottle of water. <laughs> I thought I brought it with me. You got me. your bottle of water? Yeah. We're all over the place right I now. Don't know. <laughs> I don't We're know. scattered. So, Nance, anything? No. How I'm you feeling? Huge. I'm officially nine months pregnant. We're cool, dude. Congrats. So, Congrats. So, if we go today, good. Even Whoa. Better. Was jumping on the trampoline before I got here. That's why I was late. Are you serious? No. <laughs> Trying to push it out. <laughs> get out. Get Fall out. I of used me. Chappelle's heavy metal voice. I went, get out. Get out of me. <laughs> so I quit weighing myself when I gained the 25 pounds I was supposed to gain. So. 
I stopped weighing myself after I got married. So I don't know if I've gained any more weight or not. <laughs> I stopped I mean, weighing myself after I started working out. That's where it's at. <laughs> oh my flexes, god, well, we all look his like shirt you. Sleeve ripped. Chappelle, what's your working out? <laughs> yeah, what Protein is your workout shakes? regimen? <laughs> Every day. Every day. <laughs> Except uh, weekends. <laughs> Except Saturday, Sunday. My you a reverse fucking Tuesday. cell phone plan? Yeah, a reverse cell phone plan. <laughs> 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 much. Oh yeah, I work out every day, but I have a personal trainer. You Other, do? Yeah, I have to. I otherwise, feel that. Like, like otherwise, I won't do it. You just look it. like the type of guy who wouldn't need one. No, I need one. Otherwise, I won't do it. I won't go. I won't go to the gym. Yeah, I. Really? Yeah, I always really. thought personal trainers were, were shit, and then I got Sunny for from uh, Fitness Experience, mm-hmm. and it was awesome. Like yeah, it was such good, good workouts. And now I won't go to the gym without one. Like, yeah. I bring a personal trainer. I, no, nah, I don't go. But I'm just saying. <laughs> I you won't go, go on without Craigslist one. looking for an intern personal trainer. That's how cheap he is. Yeah, that's 100% no, yeah, true. I, I'm, I'm not that kind of guy, like, with, with working out. So I have to have a trainer. And, and it just keeps me motivated and, you know, like, makes me get the job done. Well, Otherwise, you I clearly do get it done. We're going to put To people that can't see me, I'm page. really buff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> have, you always, have you always been in shape or were you a fat kid? No, I was, really, I was a skater, so I was really skinny. skinny. So okay. you look, I just can't imagine. Because there's always those people that are super in shape and it's because they were fat as kids. And they no, were just like yeah, no, I was super, never going I was, back. I was really skinny because I skated and stuff. That's all I did and played in punk rock bands. But then, okay, what was the transition then where you're like, I'm going to put muscle on? Cheerleading put muscle on. Had to, right? Yeah. Because you had to throw... A human yeah. in the air. And then catch him. That, I, then catch him. <laughs> Doesn't that Throwing hurt? them's just half, <laughs> half <laughs> the time. You got to catch him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to catch him. <laughs> Nancy did cheer stuff, but you were a, more dance than cheer, right? Yeah, were, I did a so little bit So you never got cheer. thrown in the air? I did a couple times, yeah. Really? I tried did, it out and did, did, did it. Did you go to school here? Yeah. Yeah. Was it scary? Yes. What? I mean, you got it. Um, Desert Mountain. Does it, is that Mesa? Scottsdale. Scottsdale. Yeah, right around oh, there. Oh, I'm thinking Desert Ridge. That's Mesa. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say it was scary. You've got to, you know, trust people and yeah. not be too big, I guess. My first year I broke, That's a, true. My first year yeah. I broke a girl's arm because I didn't catch her. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, no. I wasn't aware. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> you, have to, you have to catch, you know, in cheerleading, you have yeah, to catch... Yeah. The girl but, that's in the air? Yeah. No, I mean, I figured. I've seen it. but uh, <laughs> I figured as much. Well, one of our basketball games, the other team, their cheerleaders came out, and they didn't catch one of the girls, and it fucking stopped the game for like 25 minutes as she laid on did the they, floor. Did the basketball <laughs> players have to take a knee? No. Yeah. <laughs> For football, yeah. we all have to take a knee. We had to, uh, we had to warm up again. It took so goddamn <laughs> <had> long. <laughs> <laughs> they pulled her off to the side eventually. She just laid there. Aw, sad. Like, dude, she just bounced right off the floor. I was like, oh, that, that can't be good, dude. Yeah, I've hit that floor sad. just standing. It hurts a little. <laughs> Poor girl. Yeah, dude. Well, I hope yeah, when it's not okay. on the grass, it's a different... Yeah. You, you really got to be careful. I mean, they, they're they like really strict on their rules and what you do and stuff like that because so many... Oh, this isn't my water. People have... Yes, it is. It. it is. Oh, you're I have, no, me sick I have now. no idea what's going on. I'll kill you. I still have a cough. It's been three weeks. Hey, Everybody uh, that got that sickness had it for like a month. Would you oh. just drink a lot of water, man? Oh, you have no drink idea. Drink a lot of water and work out like I do and you won't get sick. <laughs> Everybody always says, load up on vitamin C. Like that's like yeah, the I did end that. all. That like didn't Charlie help. Sheen, all he needs is vitamin C. Right. And everything's going to be just fine. <laughs> You'll be all right. That poor guy. <laughs> poor dude. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting, though. I feel like the media is really sensationalizing HIV. Like it's just no big deal mm. because Charlie Sheen has it. Right. Like everything I read about it, it's like, you know, it's really not the HIV that's going to kill you. It's your bad lifestyle. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it's the way they talk about yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah. It's sensationalizing yeah. it. Like, it's just no big thing. Oh, that's crazy. It's crazy. It is crazy. Well, so, so I live a sober life, man. I don't do nothing yeah, crazy. Yeah. So that's <laughs> Straight what edge. That's, yeah. what, that's all you have to do, and you'll be fine. Yeah. It doesn't matter about your HIV yourself. as long as you don't do drugs. Yeah. That's what the media says. What, you had a question for me? No. Oh, none. Where's your, ha- where's your hand? So I conduct interviews. <laughs> I don't have any questions. No questions. <laughs> uh, what were, we were talking about some stuff earlier. What yeah, we started about? to get into stuff, and then we're like, "Stop talking. Let's record it." And then oh, we yeah. forgot uh, once we started recording. I hate that. Uh, <laughs> happens all the time. Oh, let's remember to do we that. Nancy do it all the right time. Right when we walk in. <laughs> we should. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, we always do like pre-show conversation. And That's it's always the, the best, best stuff, too. Yeah. It's the best stuff. Especially because we haven't seen each other in so long, and I'm like, this funny thing happened, whatever. Yeah. We miss all of it. Someone's here. Yeah. Uh, huh? Uh, I, don't, I still don't know. What, so I, can't, I can't hear <laughs> shit. This show's all over the place. Um, so, Chappelle, what is new with you? You've been um, on, this is your third time coming on the show. Yeah, third time. And every time it's been epic. Epic, yeah. You want me to make it highly more epic? downloaded? You want, yeah. you want me to top the last? <laughs> you want me to do that? My God, did you bring Anwar again? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Aww. Love Anwar. Uh, nothing. Uh, j- uh, a lot with. Um, I've been focusing a lot on uh, acting. Uh, within like the past, like, oh, when was the last time I was on here? Six uh, months ago. Six months ago. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pretty, yeah, pretty much like, within the past like six months. What kind months, of acting? Uh, I've been working on like TV film, t- TV film work. I've been taking acting classes, and uh, I got signed to an acting agency back in early October. And so, uh, just been uh, working. Just, I just really enjoy it. It's like been, it's 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 crazy because I've always wanted to do acting even before I wanted to do stand up. Well, I never I never wanted to do stand up. It was just. <laughs> I know that's funny. It's as weird as that sounds. I I did the reason why I got into stand up is because a bunch of people told me to try it, and so that's the only reason why I got into stand up. But acting was like the main thing that I've always wanted to do, and I just never got into it. And so, um, you know, when I was when I was under you know depression, like after my brother died and stuff, like I was just trying to find you know something more, you know, just to you know help help myself get back on on the horse again. And um, I, I started taking acting classes, and it's like it's it's crazy, 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 because it's it's made me feel whole again. As weird as it sounds, and well, it's that's it's what you been always like always wanted to do. I would think that's yeah. It's, it's, in the it's right like I, it's the it's the first time in years, you know, that I felt complete. With myself. That's awesome. Like that's what that's like what the acting classes have done to me. Like what uh, what goes into an acting class? What do you mean? Like what? I, I always imagine they go, okay, you're here. It's your first day improv or something. Yeah. Like, tap dance. Like what are no, they, they, start, they, start, <laughs> they start you off with the. Uh, <laughs> With these, like, uh, <laughs> it's right, here you go. Ready, set. Ready, set. <laughs> put your tap shoes on. We gotta act. Hey, do a little dance, do a little dance with it. No, um, no, they start, uh, it, it was cool. They started you off with this, like, a, a it's like a little ambiguous scene, and it's just a couple lines, and you have a scene partner, and you each get like two or three lines each, and you gotta make up story, make up a story kind of based off those, just those. Lines and it's not like they're, you know. So they don't paint the scene at all. You just have your lines. You have to create the whole scene. Mm-hmm. It, it, cool. it kind of because it kind of gives you it gives the uh, the coaches a sense of where you are and where they where they can what direction they can take you in, you know. So you work on that for like the first couple weeks or. or oh, they or probably loved you right yeah. away, huh? Yeah, I, I, I uh, and then yeah, I was on that for like a couple <laughs> weeks, and then I got onto like actual scenes, like from just just from films and stuff like that. Uh, I had to do like a comedy scene, which was like pretty, you know, pretty easy. Yeah. Then I had, uh, the the scene w- that did it for me, that made me really enjoy acting and and just love it, was uh, I had to, my coach hit me with the scene where I had to act, where I had to cry, and I had to cry about like my character had to cry about his brother. He didn't lose his brother, but he was just emotional, like mm-hmm. how much he loved his brother. So like when she hit me with that scene, it was just like really close to home. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is weird. You know, I was I I I, I was terrified, very very terrified, because I was just like, man, I I didn't I didn't want to go back there. You know what I mean? Because it was it's just it was such a tragic, you know, thing. So I'm going through and uh, working this scene, and my coach was like, uh, do you have anyone that's close to you? You know, and I was like. Oh, here we go. Here we uh, go. I was like, "Oh, my brother," and she was like, "Oh, okay, tell me about him." I was like, uh, "Well, he passed away and stuff like that." And she was like, "Oh," she was like, well, "We don't have to go there if you if you don't want to." You know, she was really cool about it, but the, it was just a way that I don't know. I was just like, "Let's go there," you know. Like I, I 
I, I was open minded to, you know, touch, touching there to try to, you know, pull out this scene. And then, um, and then I did it and I cried and, and, and did this scene. And this is how I knew I did a good job with the scene. After I was done with it, the class was crying. I was going to say, if other people <laughs> crying, did it right. The class was crying. Yeah. Like, that's, that's how I knew it was a good scene. And, and just seeing that, it was just like, oh, gosh. Like, I, I, can't, I couldn't believe that I just pulled that off. In one take? And, yeah. And I, and I felt good about it. It was like I, I, I felt all right. I felt like, wow, like, whew, that was a, it was like a big sigh of relief. And then I had, I had to do another scene where I had to get angry. Now, I'm pretty genuinely just <laughs> happy yeah, 24-7. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a natural happy, not a forced happy that I am. And I was like, I have to act angry? And I was like, it was, it was, it was tough. So and I was like, well, this, the scene I had to do was a, a, my character and his girlfriend were in a, like an intense argument. And, like, really intense, like, you know, almost to, to an extent of where it was phys- physical abuse was about to happen. And so it was, like, another thing that hit me, you know, because my mom, you know, we're, the way I grew up, we grew up in an abusive uh, relationship from my stepdad. So it was, like, hitting these, you know, this stuff from the past. And I was like, dang it, like, I got to go back there, too, you know. But, but it, I remembered what I did with the scene where I had to cry about my brother and I, I just was like, okay, you can if you can do that, you can do this one too, and pulled that scene off, and it terrified everybody seeing me get angry and scared like that because everyone knows, you know, that I'm pretty genuinely, you know, a happy guy. Yeah, seeing and you, mad you're also capable of being yeah. really loud. So yeah, I can yeah. see how you'd be good at that. Yeah, exactly. And it was just, it was just crazy to see myself and the thing that. Cause, cause my acting coach could tell there was something that I was, you know, scared to do. Well, like with going to that scene, you know what I mean? Cause I just know what, you know, the stuff that me and my mom, you know, my whole, my family went through with, you know, my stepdad, uh, it, he just helped me understand like, you're okay. Like no one's going to hurt you now. Like you, you're fine now. You're okay now. You know, he's like, you, he's like, you can, you can inspire people with this scene, you know? And I was just like. I never really thought of it like that, and he helped me understand that, and which made me comfortable with getting to that that level. So all these scenes I've been doing in these class these classes have like pretty much hit like hit home a lot. This life's like a movie. Yeah, so like it's it's been it's been really crazy. There, like I I never realized like how much like I've been through in my life that I could pull that off and put that into and use that into you know into an put that into an art i didn't i never realized that i could use something so tragic in that sense and and put it out into an art to where it you know it brings this talent out of me so it's it's been a crazy 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 thing but it but it's been it's been wonderful it's, I, I just i just have felt so complete again how long did it take before you got signed by someone uh, I started acting classes uh, in March of 2015, and I got signed October 2015. So very quickly. Wow. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. is it hard for you? Uh, how hard or how hard? I, I got to phrase it that way. How hard is it for you to get into character where you have to think about like the past to get into that character and then get out of it? How hard is that? Mm-hmm. That's um, that. That's actually the easiest part. That's, I'm, I that's know, what yeah, I meant to phrase like, it. How easy is yeah, it? That's what it's, I meant. It's, it's, <laughs> it's uh, going into it that's hard, but like getting out of it is the easy part. Are you drained afterwards? Like no, emotionally it's just, drained? It, no, I don't. I don't feel drained. I just feel so relieved. Fulfilled? Yeah, fulfilled. Like it's it's so weird. Like I, I didn't I didn't expect that from it, and. and you know, my acting coaches, they, they don't know my life. You know, it's not like they were like, hey, he's been through this. So let's give him this scene. Yeah. You know what I mean? They didn't know. It was just. It's better that way. Yeah, it's better that way. And, and they, they were completely unaware. I even wrote them a letter, like, thanking them for, like, you know, teaching me so much. And, you know, not only about myself, just understanding everything that 
I've been through in my life, mm -hmm. you know, because I've I've been through like so many crappy things and and just they've helped me, you know, feel complete. And they, and, and that, that probably wasn't even like what they were trying to do. They were just trying to, you know, help me create myself as an actor. Yeah. And not only at the same time, they just made me feel whole again. What, uh, what's more satisfying <clears throat> crushing on stage doing stand up, or just killing a scene in acting? Um, that's a good question. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, I want to say, um, uh, I think, I think with comedy, uh, it's helped me not, uh, I guess I'll just take it this way. It, it's helped me hide some things that I've never really wanted to like let out. Into, yeah. let out. So like the crushing on stage is like, you know, it's like it, I mean that's it's a amazing feeling. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, you know, but it it just helped me like mask some things, and with killing a scene and 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 with acting it it uh I I I've got a better feeling from that just to, just because it's you know actually touched me deeper than than uh. The crushing on stage, has, yeah. If that makes sense. yeah, it makes. I mean, it makes sense to me. I think uh, it's weird I, I, in stand up because you 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 want to be yourself on stage and you open up and you mm -hmm. say things, but you're also masking a lot of yeah, things on stage. A lot and you're of hiding things, stuff, and, and it's been weird. Like because I haven't I haven't, I haven't uh, hit the stage in like like quite some time um, because like the material that I that I wrote, you know, all that past material was while I was depressed. And so do, doing some of that material, I just don't, I just don't feel it. Cause I, I don't feel that way. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Perfect. sense. You know what I mean? Cause I was depressed and I was like, let's go to this situation and talk about this. Mm -hmm. So I'm, so I can stop well, thinking about this depression stuff. Yeah. And, 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 and you don't you don't want to do that because if you go back into that material, it's going to bring you back to that place as as you were as a person. Yeah. And you're past you're beyond that. You're not that guy anymore. It's just like yeah, growing it's, up. It's just it's it's different. Yeah, I'm not that guy anymore. So I've been like trying to like, you know, not revamp my style because I feel like my, my I mean my style is you know I, li I like my style <laughs> of comedy, but just um, a different route in in the writing process uh, is just you know what I'm searching for and, and and it's it's been it's been a struggle but I mean I'm a person that likes challenges and you know I, yeah. don't, I don't mind I don't mind struggle I, I like it because it you know if you can get through it you get the bigger picture you know what I mean yeah it, oh go ahead did you say with your acting are you aiming for t TV or movies I'll do both what would you write do you care like do you have a favorite role you, I just want to like, act oh okay yeah. so you don't have like, any yeah, in mind yeah I, I just want to act I mean I like it all like it's it's I don't know. It's just Ooh, hitting so guess. many so many. <laughs> it's just hit so many spots in me. It was like it's I don't know. It just like opened up things. So this I'm is it took you this long to do this. Yeah, I know. That's what everyone says. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, some so comedians get hired for acting work to do comedies, which makes sense because I think. Comedians are funny. That's just natural funny to act in a comedy. However, they don't get hired for dramas that often, and it's a it, kind of a problem because when they do, they play amazing dramatical characters because yeah. they can get to that place yeah. to do it. So for you, which would you prefer or just in your experiences already get more enjoyment out of if it's a comedy scene or you have to be this dramatic character? Uh, probably the dramatic character because I really like digging, digging deep to to really get there and really bring out the character, uh, and that's one thing I learned with the you know in my acting classes. The more you understand about your character and realize about your character, uh, the better performance you're able to bring out, and that's one thing I really like digging to because it's making me you know, see these things that I didn't want to see again. Cause what, uh, I, there was things I got over, but I was like, I don't want to ever see it again, you know? And, and 
because and then using it like I feel like you know my coach was right I, I can use this stuff to inspire people and because uh, I've been inspired with things and to and I don't know it just it just makes sense it just yeah. makes a lot of sense to me what areas did you think you'd be better than you actually are at in acting where you thought you were going to go in like oh I've got experience doing stand up so this should be easy and like where were you surprised where you, where you thought you'd be better um where I thought I would be better I didn't know if I was I would be good at um dramatic stuff <laughs> with I didn't I didn't know if I was going to be good at that like I knew the comedy yeah. would come natural cuz yeah. I mean uh it I mean, I just comedy is a natural feel, you know, inside so, of me. He's so good. He's like, I'm so good. I surprise myself how good I am in everything. <laughs> I mean, and, 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 I'm that and good. It, it's crazy. Yeah, and it's crazy because because of the way I grew up. Like the, the not only did I deal with physical abuse in the home, but like a lot of verbal abuse. So like I was torn down a lot. So so I I didn't have confidence for a lot of things, and like I wanted to do acting as a kid, you know, but. But the way I was treated, you know, stopped that. Because I was just like, well, maybe, I, maybe I'm not good enough for these if things. If anyone met you now, no one would ever think you had a traumatic background. Because you're just like <laughs> the nicest, happiest. Yeah. You look like you got your shit together. You sound like it. You, yeah. you wouldn't think you'd been through yeah. anything. And, not to take that away from you. But. Yeah, I hear that a lot, you know, too as well. Like, you know, pe- people don't, they're like, wow, I, I didn't know you, you've been through so much. And it, and. It, I mean, if someone if someone asks, like I'll I'll talk about it, but I just try to I try to be you know. I think the reason why I I stay so positive is because I realize that I'm not the only person that's ever gone through something, and I'm very fortunate to be able to overcome a lot of things because you know that that kind of stuff is not easy for people to come out come out of so like I, I just feel like if I just keep a, a positive energy around a lot of people that you know it, it'll give them a sense of hope for themselves so that's how I think of it it's a good way to think about it everybody I mean everybody deals with stuff obviously differently yeah. but dude that's to stay positive it's tough to yeah. do man it's, but I, I, like, it's a good I, way I, to I, do it I'm being I'm being I, I want to be strong for others you know so they they can eventually be strong for themselves. You have a shitload of people that look up to you, dude. Yeah, it's kind of random. <laughs> 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 but it's but it's cool at the same time, you know, and uh I I just don't try to force it on people. You know, I don't I don't try to force people to tell me things about their past cuz not everybody's comfortable with talking about it. You know, not everyone can just sit there and say I went through this cuz it's so it's so hard it took me you know a very very long time to be okay with to tell you know anyone about that stuff because i I, I, because a lot of people don't want to believe that that is them you know i didn't want to believe that i was an abused kid like i didn't want to be labeled as that like i didn't want to be that you know so so i fought hard to you know try trying not to be that and i had like the worst anger issues ever because of it Horrible anger issues, like bad. Yeah. Yes. Like throwing stuff at teachers. We had kids in our school that did through cheerleaders, yeah. Yeah. and they were like, "He's like, really good. Maybe like, there's something to this." Yeah. <laughs> Let's give him a scholarship. Yeah, how to join stuff. the team. <laughs> go, now, when you throw them, the only difference is you have to catch them this time. Yeah. And they said, you know what? Why not? <laughs> yeah. So, like, it, um, I don't know. I just, I just feel like this year, you know. It's been a good year because I've just learned so much about myself and and been able to really build myself back up again. You know, because because like I said, after after my brother passed, like it was like I I like I just lost a lot of confidence in myself, lost a lot of hope. But at the same time, in the back of my head, I, I was like, I don't think I'll always feel this way. I didn't think I was always going to be depressed. Like, and and there was times I was trying to make a timeline for when I would feel better. Yeah. You know, and that was like a horrible thing. You know, that was like the worst thing I could have done was try to try to do that, try to make a timeline for when I was going to feel better. And and it was making certain situations hard for me. So I just, you know, sat down and just feel it. Feel, okay? Huh. This is the way you feel. This is what you're feeling right now. You know, 
let's do some things. You know, let's get up. Let's get up and do some things. You know, let's just li- let's just live. Yeah, and see where it takes you. Um, that's pretty deep, dude. I but told you I was going to get deep. Yeah, but I'm, that's, I'm glad you are. I'm super glad you I are. I told you I was. It's about time we did on this show for once. Just yeah. don't be political. Yeah. <laughs> no. Even still. Yeah. Uh, explain what uh, what it means now to have an agent. You sign with an agency. So now what happens? Like, what is the whole transgression? You just sit, chill, and wait till you get a gig. You know, they think just of find Joey you stuff. From you know, Friends, when you sell, oh, yeah. Estelle. Yes, I love her. She's the best agent ever. I love her. That is that your agent? No, not even close. No. That's a shame. Just chain I smoking. She's inside, she just smokes in everyone's face. Not Joey. Yeah, I mean, they you see. got an audition downtown. Yeah, it's in yeah, twenty it's, minutes. That's, that's pretty much yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah, in you know? twenty minutes. Oh, it's in twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just she, she'll call me or email me and say, "Hey, you got to go do an audition here." I mean, and uh, that that's another work in itself, auditioning. You know, auditioning yeah, is another work well, so itself. this is funny. Like, start with cereal. Would you? I did when I was a kid. Cereal. <laughs> when I was a kid, that's what I did. Like cereal Chocula. stuff, commercials. Uh, when you go to the like auditions and you get there, it's like. 50 other people that look exactly the same as you do because <laughs> you're all for the yeah. same part and every agent is like oh they're looking for whatever guy oh i have a client that looks like that just go yeah and you get there you're like fuck dude like everybody else yeah. looks like me and- yeah even when you, you, i mean when when i because I, I had audition like she uh my agent had me read like commercial scripts and that stuff is weird in itself too it's nerve-wracking like, it's just it's just weird like commercial stuff like reading like a script commercial like because you you have to bring a certain th- i don't know it's just it's weird <laughs> <laughs> it's weird but i mean i can do it but it's just weird yeah and you're in a room of how many people some when you've been in how many people have been on the other side watching you watching me yeah like when you audition there's Sometimes, well, there's... Oh, I haven't went on one. Yeah, she hit me up with uh, some extra work. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. I haven't, haven't gone, like, on, like, a full... Oh, audition. dude, it's... One well, when buddies, you do, it's weird. One of my buddies weird. had to do it from a phone, though. Really? That's yeah. how I would want to do it. I'll, I'll text you my lines. <laughs> I'll text it. I'll text it to you. Yeah, one of my... Thank one of my, God this iPhone has italics. Yeah, one of my friends, he's on the same... Um, Agency? Yeah, we're you know, the same agent. And uh, he, uh, yeah, he was like, yeah, they had me film it from my iPhone and uh, send it in. <laughs> he Skyping said it was weird. in your audition, FaceTiming it? Yeah, he said it was weird. Hey, but that's, that's one way, yeah. you know, that to weed out the first call. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah, oh my God, could you imagine if that's the way it went now? That'd It'd be, be easier to audition for him anywhere. Yeah. I'd have someone else do it for me. Like, you're incredible. And I, come, and I show up for the second callback. No, yeah, no. It, yeah, it, it, another uh, thing did that. For, uh, I had emailed this. There's like a, this website that has like um, where you can like audition for like theater work or like short films that, you know, ASU students are filming and stuff like that, you know, just just to act and, you know, get work or whatever. And uh, they're like, yeah, film it from your phone. And I was like, what? You want to film? You want to just send it to from my phone? It's yeah. just so weird because, like, I feel like that doesn't really. What do you do? You just hold like the phone yourself? Or what? Like a periscope? Like a selfie audition? <laughs> <laughs> Chappelle's in character right now. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you there? <laughs> no, She's making yeah. little vines of yourself. I yeah, know, that's what, that, yeah, that's what I feel like. And post it, it to your own Facebook page, and yeah. maybe they'll find it. Yeah. Oh, that sounds kind of stupid. Yeah, that's weird. That is weird. Weird, weird. Uh, but no, yeah. Um, but not really, because you're auditioning to be on film. Mm-hmm. So make a short film of yourself. Well, yeah, yeah that makes sense. From yeah. your phone, though? How funny. You get the, you get the, you actually get the part. And you're like, wow, what are these cameras doing in here? Don't we, <laughs> yeah. Are we shooting off of phones? I thought that's I what the show was. was. was <laughs> I only look good in a certain amount of pixels. <laughs> <I'm> right. <laughs> uh, so, um, 
but you actually before we started recording, you got something that's going to be on TV tomorrow, uh, Sunday. So when this comes out um, in the morning on NFL Countdown on ESPN, right? What? Yeah. What'd you do? He plays for the Panthers. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I started playing it's football. Like, I was really, like, you know what? Really you know, what? I've done. I've done cheerleading. <laughs> Why not football? <laughs> Let's see what the other side is like. Oh, I know I'm, I know I've been on the field, but I want to be on the field. Like he's greedy. He takes, greedy. He takes from everyone. What else do you want to take away from? Someone? I know, right? <laughs> Don't tell him your dreams, Kev. He'll take them. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I play a secure security guard. Uh, my homie Frank Caliendo uh, films a lot of sketches for uh, comedy sketches for ESPN, and he had me play a security guard in this one. What do you do? You have to stop him? Do you tackle him and arrest him? What was my lines? Um, excuse me, sir. Do you have a? Uh, <laughs> what was the line? I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you, Chappelle. What the hell was those lines? <laughs> Excuse me, sir, do you have a permit to be here? That's what it was. How long did you have to rehearse that line? How many times did you have to rehearse that line? You know line? what's crazy? No. I'm really good at remembering lines. Well, like, I learn it, like, fast. That's a huge deal <laughs> when it comes to words, acting. So I should hope <laughs> you remember But once it's line. out of my brain, it's out of my brain. Yeah. <laughs> make them for something else. Yeah. And else scene, screen. and you're like, what yeah. happened? Yeah, what happened? I, what happened? <laughs> I blacked out, dude. I don't I know. Blacked out. What <laughs> so you're going to be on ESPN. Yeah. Never for the reason you probably thought you'd be on ESPN for. Yeah, I've we're, actually we're been on ESPN. Security. I've actually been on ESPN a lot. What? Oh, for, for cheer? Yeah. Uh, yep, absolutely. They do those big competitions. Yeah. Did That's you win? Cool. Mm-hmm. Good for you. You did. I'm a world champion. No way. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. I've never said that to bring you up or anything before. I'm going to from now on. I don't on. really like telling This guy's a world that. champion. I won't say cheerleader. I'll just say he's a world champion. Yeah, world yeah, you and Judah Friedland. Yeah, world champion. World champion for cheerleading. Wow, dude. That's awesome. I don't really brag about that. No, that's really cool, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's all right. <laughs> We've heard him talk about cheerleading so many times, but never a world champion. Like, that's that should come first. Uh, should be the first thing you're telling us. Yes. Yeah. I'm a world champion cheerleader. That is awesome. Heavy on the world um, any embarrassing moments cheerleading? Any embarrassing? I moments mean, other than just being a male cheerleader. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's other the whole thing itself. Yeah, other than cheerleading <laughs> itself. Yeah, think about it. No, every, um, I've embarrassing about moments. It a lot. Like, Josh Nasser was a cheerleader for Penn State. He was. And he took his balls out of his pants <laughs> on the field in front of 110,000 people. Yeah, see, on I purpose, didn't, I didn't do yeah that was on purpose. I don't know, because that was just really good. Yeah, all right. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, anything else you want to start? You want to start, like, the UFC, anything? It's, I don't know, because I take everything as a joke, so I don't really get embarrassed. I don't know. Embarrassing moments of cheer. Like, did your team ever screw up or something? Like, your, your cheerleading team? Yeah, but that's not really embarrassing. Yeah, it's I guess. It's just kind of shitty. Yeah. <laughs> good at everything like, he does. I'm sorry. That's true. We look good at everything we don't he touches. Fall, okay? Where I've cheered, we don't fall. <laughs> we don't Listen, mess have up. you ever failed? No, not really. Like at anything. Fail? Man, one is, time I got an A minus. <laughs> bullshit. I knew those answers were right. Created on a curve. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> uh, how did the relationship with Frank start, Caliendo? Because Frank Caliendo is a mega star. Cheerleading? <laughs> did, oh, that's right. It did. I don't know what did. But is he still famous for cheerleading? Or is that what he's famous for? Who, <laughs> me? Frank. <laughs> no, no, no. Is that he's, that? he's a comedian. Okay. Um, he's a Frank does the impre- like impressions, but they're okay. dead on, like John Madden. Yeah. And at, well, he does tons of them now, tons but them. Uh, yeah, he's he's just a fucking super famous comedian, I guess. But uh, Chappelle met him through you cheerleading, but you coached his daughter or something. Yeah. So my my best friend uh, owns a cheerleading gym that I work at, and uh, his daughter. Uh, cheers there. And you just locked eyes one day and we locked eyes. And <laughs> it just made sense. <laughs> no, uh, he saw him and he goes, That guy can't we, uh, fail. You <laughs> <laughs> can see it in his eyes. I don't know. Um uh, just 
talking in general and then started hanging and chilling and you know uh, I go over to their house a lot you know and uh, and chill with them and it, it just it just I don't know it was just like a natural thing it wasn't like yeah. anything like like sparked it up we just you know conversating and and uh, his his wife's there mostly you know so I talked to her a lot too and we just became cool so um I remember we had talked because you were like, yeah, I mean, I'm hanging out with Frank's cool guy and I'll go to his shows and stuff. And I'm like, dude, does he put you up? Does he give you time? You're like, no. <laughs> Why doesn't he give you time? I'm not a clean, I'm not a clean comedian. <laughs> <laughs> so, because that's another thing with Frank. Frank's super clean. Like, his, his act is very clean. It's corporate-y. It's how he makes so much goddamn money. <laughs> if you can be a funny, clean comedian, you've won the game yeah. as far as getting paid. You make so much money. Uh, because you can get hired for everything. You can do TV all day long. You yeah. can do any corporate gig in the world, and those pay a lot of money. Um, so Chappelle and I met up one day, and he was like, I got to be clean. I got to make my stuff clean. <laughs> <This is> so- <laughs> and you came to him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Fail. I, There's your first I've reached fail. I've out to so many people, and they're like, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Your first fail is coming to me. I know, right? <laughs> 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 I was like, yeah, I that. So... Um, because it, it, but it's more than just taking swear words out yeah, of your act. It's more than yeah. that. Because like the taking out swear words is like easy. It's just the content. I'm like, dang, I can't say that. Uh, no, can't say that. Mm-hmm. No, uh, no. Uh. It can't be adult content. Yeah. So like when you're watching TV and like you're watching the league on FX, whatever it's on. Yeah. And in the beginning, it rates the show, so you know what you're watching. And yeah. one of them is AC, which is adult content. It, it has adult content. Doesn't mean they're swearing, but it's. Just they're going to Constant. talk about show. yeah they're going to talk about certain things that are only adults will really understand mm-hmm. not little kids and so that's where clean comedy really comes into play too you can't you, you literally have to talk like about grocery stores and like that airplanes you know I, what I mean? like where where I started I've just like jotted down as many things as I can to like try to figure out okay how can I make that and then I'm just like. That ain't funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, dude. It's, it's super hard. hard. Which is why I look. I've tried to do it. I can't do it. It's it's. Uh... Oh, Nancy wants to open the door. It is hot. Actually, it opened when it opened. It really got chilly. <laughs> <laughs> um, could you, Nance? Do you think you could be clean? I could try because I think. Um... I can do, like, in, you know, relate to things that are funny without having to say fuck all the time. Yeah, you could do, um, like, you could talk about I, your kids. Yeah, I think I'm creative that way, where I can see funny in a lot of situations. Family stuff, yeah. Yeah, I mean, any, not anything, mm-hmm. but any, a lot of different situations yeah. where I don't have to be yeah. crude and disgusting. But I, it does come really natural to me. So <laughs> I have to remind myself not to be like that. Yeah. And oh, it was the weirdest thing. I went to my daughter's student teacher conference the other day, and like I kind of really clicked with the teacher. And by the end of the conference, there were f bombs going around. I was like, whoa, that's never, <laughs> never happened before. But this person really related to me. <laughs> this person related to me. Like yeah. we just like locked eyes and was like, okay, I get it. And yeah. by the end of the 15 minute conversation there was f-bombs coming from Mm -hmm. a parent and a teacher in a totally not fighting way so it was like (laughs) it's interesting that i brought that out in that person you know so i feel like i was completely responsible (laughs) and i wasn't the one who started (laughs) you know i'm on my best behavior this is my child's teacher you gave that vibe i put it out there. <laughs> I don't know what about oh, me says cusses. that. <laughs> she swears. This chick's for real. Yeah. yeah. She's for, real. Yeah. for real. That's exactly what happens. She puts so. out test questions to you just to get, get the edge. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I think I think by the end of this, I'm going to be able to say fuck. It's going to be it's gonna be nice. Yep. And I was just like, like it didn't happen. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. I totally agree. I didn't return really. I didn't really engage in it, but I yeah. didn't disagree yeah. either. She's like, dude. I made that person Nancy, feel you'll never believe there's one kid in here that's a fucking retard <laughs> and you're like whoa whoa whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, pump the brakes on the kid. retard <laughs> <laughs> it's retard <laughs> oh, uh, dude i forgot to tell you i forgot to tell you i don't know i don't know how i forgot this i've been taking improv classes too oh uh, like sketch stuff that is so hard i can't do it that's what dude, i think that like man I, I have to use all of my brain yeah 
for that. So what, dude? Tell me what goes into it. I've never taken a class. I won't. I, I mean, I don't like it to begin I with. Won't. But I'm not. I'm not funny. Enough. I'm not funny enough to do it. And it's not, it's not even that. Like it's not even like like punchline. You just got to make everything. Like the thing. This is what I've learned the most out of it. You got to make everything logical. Everything just has to be logical. What do you mean? Like, like the scene has to be realistic. Yeah, like it can't just be like out there. But like, there's there's certain things you can say that could twist it a little bit to make it open for for some you know some punchlines, if you will. But like at the same time, it you're not always searching for punchlines. That's the, damn, that's the thing damn. that's so hard about it. I would think like, I'm there's like, not an end to every joke when you're improv. Yeah, you it's like isn't it kind of flat? It's flat, but at the same time, like it, it has like you can you're building. You have to build, and I I don't know. It's just, dude, I'm I can't even explain it. <laughs> How long have you been doing it? Uh, a month. Shit. Been doing so those, yeah, I've been doing those fun or more. just the most challenging. It's fun and challenging. Okay, it is so. Challenge. I have to use to all of, of my brain, all of my brain. Yeah, yeah, we have. We've talked to a people lot of been the, on the show. comedians that come in here. They like that, or they yeah. they host improv shows or yeah. whatever. But because I because I because th- there's times where I've gone on stage and like, you know, just made stuff up on the spot. You know what I mean? And it's completely different than that. Well, I'll tell you. Okay, so I danced my you know whole young life, and mm-hmm. we'd go to competitions. Stripper. The, they're literally the opposite of stripping. So <laughs> exactly. any competitions or any shows that I'd have to audition for or anything, they they show you a dance real quick and then you do it back for them. Yeah. And that's easy. That's like giving me lines. Mm. But when they say, okay, now improv for four eight counts, that's the hardest thing. Yeah. No tricks involved. Like that's the hardest thing to do is yeah. improv for it's hard. For four What's eight that counts. mean? What's four eight counts? What is that? Five, well, six, seven, eight, one, two, two three, four, five, does, six, yeah. seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Just counts. That's just an example of how much time they give you to dance yeah. on your own. Yeah, that's yeah. how Dude. that's how they time things. Yeah, and that's what helps you stay on in sync. Where Nancy, have you ever seen Chappelle's videos that yes. he posts on Facebook and yes. stuff? Dude, where did you learn to Dude. dance, bro? Where it's I legit. Dance? It's I you're like I, half I a Jabberwocky. I didn't learn how to. <laughs> I didn't even have any rhythm before I joined cheerleading. That's not true. That can't be true. You're black. I promise. Dude, you're well, black. Born with rhythm. <laughs> I didn't have. It, we I had didn't, to work for it. Okay, I, I, I it was. It was okay. I'll, I'll take. I'll take <laughs> that back. We born with it rhythm. was in me, but I just didn't find it until I joined cheerleading. Because I honestly, you were listening I to could heavy not, metal. Yeah, I could not. Yeah, true. Yeah. That's so weird that you got just completely off track. Yeah, off track. <laughs> dude, I because I watch even I, I watch. I'm into it. I'm like, holy shit, dude! Look at this yeah. guy. And you like set routines with people. How much practice is this guy putting in? Ten seconds. Yeah, really. Yeah. See, watch, watch me. He goes, "Hey, everybody, watch me not fail at this." Dude, never tried it's this dope before. though. It's, it's really cool. Get, dude. I think you can just follow people on Facebook now. If Chappelle won't even accept your friend request, just follow him and, and just look at look at his videos he posts. One, the ones you don't post are hilarious too. And then the videos of the day, it's stupid, dude. It's good. <laughs> it's just weird. Random. <laughs> it's not random. She's talking about dancing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're talking about dancing. What dancing other kind of videos are you improv. making? <laughs> 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 Lifts the brows, smiles, and turns his head away. Oh, man. Uh, Nance, do you have a list this week? I do. I have a couple. So I knew we have a, a lot to do today. So I made a couple. Now, I think I'll... Do you want the one about Christmas gifts or the one about Black Friday? Black Friday one's kind of heavy. We, Black Friday... November? Yeah. Thanksgiving? Well, this is our last November show. This no, Thanksgiving Let's do Black week. Friday then. Okay, do you believe in Black Friday? I don't. I don't. I mean, I believe, I believe in it because it happens, but I don't Not because I'm religious. I just... Yeah. <laughs> I don't like is it. Is Thanksgiving a religious holiday, by the way? Uh, I don't. No, I don't do anything on holidays. I don't really. No. Oh well, maybe he's a Black Friday they're, person. They're boring. Then. I just I, I, I get boring? sick of family gatherings. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. But but I still wouldn't leave one to go shopping. No, like ever. Oh no. And for me, Black Friday is like 
I, so, I feel like every now and then I'll make it out just because we have that day off, and I'm like, oh, well, yeah. let's go do something, and I'm like, oh, whoa, fuck, how did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> like, I'll end up at a Walmart and just leave, like, immediately. Like, I only end up at Black Friday on accident. It yeah. never happens on purpose. He's like, whoa, oh, oh, huh, out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why can't I find a spot? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I won't wake up early for anything. I know. And I hate camping. Does it, it starts so early, doesn't people it? Ca- people camp out. Like days before, I mean, the, I mean, a Walmart I get opens. It that, I mean, the well, first di- of all, Walmart never closes, so I don't understand the camping. Yeah, I would camp inside Walmart. No one would mm-hmm. know. <laughs> uh, what was the question about it? Do I do it? Uh, I Is I it, went out on Black Friday for the first time last year. Are there any and, savings worth that? Uh, I went to guitar, a good uh, guitar center because mm-hmm. I because uh, earlier that month I just had bought a brand new guitar. And so I went to Guitar Center, and I just, it was a lot of good Was stuff. it a good deal? Was yeah, it worth a bunch it? Of it? Yes. Yeah. Because I can play loud. You're loud. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, but no, it was worth it. Yeah. So I, I did some research, and I found 10, I thought, of some of the most extreme Black Friday stories in no particular order. So one, here's an officer. An, <laughs> by the way, stay away from Walmart. An officer, <laughs> he actually gets arrested. An officer pepper sprays a man at Walmart. The officer was arrested for um, police brutality because the man fell down. The man fell down, like he got pushed down, and the officer decides to like just take the opportunity to just spray this guy like uncontrollably because he thought he was causing like you know a um, what is it stampede? Really? Yeah. So good that the officer was arrested for that. Wow. Okay, so in a Las Vegas Target, a shopper was gunned down over a marked down flat screen TV. Say that one again. A, a shopper was gunned down over a flat screen TV that was on sale. Like somebody else? Like somebody bought it and then somebody else was waiting outside. Was trying to steal it from him and they shot him. I mean, that's a decent way to not be in line. I mean, you'll be in a line up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You won't have to stay. Way not to be. Yeah, you don't have to wait in line at the store, but, like, I mean, you have to be in a line up yeah. at the police station. That's yeah. true. That's true. Um, Maybe they bought that camera on Black Friday sale. That is ridiculous. Okay, hold on. There's so many more. Okay, it's mostly Walmart and Kohl's. In 2013, these are all recent stories, too. <sighs> at a Kohl's, let's see. Um, oh, police at a Kohl's tried to stop two men from stealing something. One of the officers was, okay, so the guy got away. One of the officers was dragged behind the suspect's vehicle before the police were able to stop him, and they stopped him by shooting him. So, <laughs> it's Kohl's. It's like shoes and shit. Yeah. Like, People are crazy, man. Wow. Okay, there's mostly Kohl's and Walmart. And let's see, <laughs> another 11-year-old girl at a Walmart was hit in the face repeatedly. At the at the entrance of the Walmart at the opening, yeah, yeah, and her by mother, purses? By, <laughs> no, they, by man, I who knows? They showed a picture. Her mouth is, and face is all bloody. Her mom takes off running to the electronics department to get the thing she came for. Never bring a kid shopping on Black Friday with wow. you. Wow, no. they only hold you back. Yep, <laughs> clearly. This, and you destined so her to mom lose them. still went and got. And the kid was, was getting punched in the face by people. And the mom still went and, and got, got her, her stuff. This Wait, is... I know you're getting punched in the face right now. But hold on. I gotta get that TV over <laughs> yeah. there. But your sister needs a TV in her room. And I'm not going yeah. through another yeah. year of having her watch TV in my room. Exactly. Walk wow. it off. And this was Walk Walmart. it off. Okay, in 2010, a Marine at a Best Buy was stabbed multiple times after trying to break up a fight between two people fighting over the same laptop. Really? Did a he Marine? die? No. Let well, himself good. get stabbed. He thought he was going to be a good citizen and step in and like break up the fight over a laptop. I mean, I don't. I here's like, the shitty thing. I believe it. I mean, like I don't wow, put it past know, people, right? yeah, I oh, feel it's, like, it's, dude. Especially on this Black Friday stuff. Like I always see like, like stuff on the news about out there. it, dude. If I'm, I'm gonna be shocked if anybody goes with the way that ISIS and all this shit's been going down. Right. If anybody goes anywhere shopping, dude, forget it. I'm going to go Cyber Monday. <laughs> yeah, fuck Killing yeah. Killing it online. They're going to put viruses on Amazon. <laughs> That's how they attack. Wow. <laughs> Cyber Monday is how I'm... Everything I'm buying this year is coming from Amazon. Yeah. For do anybody. That. You, you don't have to leave the I house. I hate shopping. I fucking hate shopping. Same here. I mean, I get it, but I hate yeah. it. Okay. At a Kohl's in Jacksonville, a woman loses her teeth and her jaw was broken. Um, let's see. For trying to be the first person in the door through Kohl's. 
What is Cole selling? And that was just on a Tuesday. <laughs> that was just Place on a crazy. Tuesday. <laughs> right? And here's another one. Oh, I, this was my favorite. A woman in Walmart uses pepper spray to keep crowds away from her while she, <laughs> while she shopped for toys. Now that should be on that a Tuesday. One I like. Okay, that so that one I like. is all this going down in the South? Well, <laughs> besides Las Vegas. Besides Las Vegas, but you expect that still to get makes shot sense. at a Target in Las Vegas over a TV. Like yeah. that's not a Black Friday thing. No. It's a Las Vegas thing. It's a Black yeah. people thing. <laughs> black people. <laughs> <laughs> He can say yeah. it on black. I like, I like this one. I can just imagine this woman like has a cart full of all the great toys that she wants, and like people are like charging her, and she's defending yeah. herself. Yeah. Pepper spray. <laughs> so they said she sprayed over thirty people, and then she got away. They were trying to arrest her, and she got away. How do you? How do you? Thirty? You got to? She got to thirty. Thirty people. That, well, some pepper spray cans. Dude, really at big. nine, other people got to be like, let's <laughs> stop going near her. <laughs> They said 30 people were affected by the pepper spray. Well, pepper spray travels. It's not just like yeah, yeah, one person. I, I read something oh, saying I'd be like, so mad. typically when people pepper spray someone else, they get pepper sprayed by their own pepper spray as well. Yeah, I think you'd have to, right? What yeah. if there's a strong breeze that just blows or right back in, in your face? Or if you're in a bedroom. I've been in a bedroom where somebody sprayed pepper spray. Really? Yeah. Mm. And like they were just like, oh, what's this? And like trying it out. Yeah. And like we all have, we're like, what the fuck did you do that for? What um, does it do? Burn? Does it burn it and stuff? It burned to breathe in. Oh, and does it messes with your eyes too? Like yeah. The waters. Yeah. Dude, that sucks. That's just no joke. Okay, this is the saddest one I think. In Target, shoppers ignored a man who collapses in the aisle, and they were walking over him as he was having a heart attack. Oh shit! And he died later that day in the hospital. Isn't that sad? What? I would never walk. Was he in the game aisle? Were they playing charades? <laughs> charades. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one? Uh, I knew only you could make that funny. Oh. Heartbreakers? Is it? Is it the movie? Yeah. <laughs> so I really, I think that was more of a public service than a list. Thanks. Stay away from Black Friday. I don't believe in it. I mean, I, I'm not. I don't believe in much, but. Yeah. Wow. That's that's intense. I know, right? I don't feel like there's anything that's like on that good of a sale to like. Yeah. I mean, that's why I only went to Guitar Center. I mean, I was okay with that. But I'm a very simple man. Like I don't, I don't yeah. need much. I don't just need just your much. guitar. Yeah, that'll make yeah. What's the number one gift you want this year? Me? Yeah. Uh, number one gift I want this year. Uh, tickets to Golden State and the Suns. Ooh, that'd be cool. It's I know it's oh, okay. uh, courtside. Oh, he's simple. Dude, court, simple. That's the best. Fucking simple. How much would that Christmas present cost you? I don't know. It wouldn't cost me anything because it's Cause a present a for gift, me. Right. All right. So remember last week when you asked what um, superpower, whatever we wanted, uh-huh. and I said laser hands. Yeah. There's you something changed? that came out yeah. called pyro hands. Ooh, fire! You shoot fire out of your hands. So I was looking that up today. And I was like, <laughs> laser hands. She tells it hands. out. Would it be cool? Could it work? <laughs> <laughs> well, we know he, he would get it right. So. Know, right? Besides <laughs> Nance that. having your baby. What is the one gift you want this year? And besides pyro hands? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I want new Wii controllers. They still have Wii? I have a Wii. I love it. My dog ate <laughs> all it. my People Wii controllers. People still have that? Yeah, why not? My dog ate all the Wii controllers. So <laughs> I was, I, that's on my list. I made a she list. She ate all, all the Wii controllers? He was a puppy. Oh, he's a puppy. Oh, I okay. wasn't even mad. I was like, I yeah. left him out, buddy. It's yeah. my fault. <laughs> I love this dog <laughs> so much. <laughs> hey, look. He ate all the Wii controllers. <laughs> all of them. And no, I had those okay. awesome extra ones, you know, that not the, not the long one, but the ones that actually fit in your hands. Oh, really? Asshole. <laughs> He's forgiven. Matt, well, we're at that time, man. Yeah. Uh, Chappelle, thanks for coming. Shoot off. Of uh, anybody can find you, look out for you. Uh, yeah, look for me. You'll see me. You'll see him. Not at Unless night. Unless it's dark. If yeah, you get this, dark. if you listen to this before, what is it, 9 a.m.? Yeah. 8 a.m., 9 a.m., or whatever, Arizona time, uh, turn on ESPN, watch Chappelle, um, or just go find it. It'll probably is be on YouTube. Gonna, are they going to run that commercial a lot, or do you know? I hope uh, it's not just one I time. I don't know how they do it. I, just, I don't watch They run it. It's, I don't think it's a, it's not I just a act. I don't skit. even watch. <laughs> but, uh, I'm, not, I'm that good. I don't watch them. I just, yeah. I just. <laughs> um, they post and, it on, like, their sites, too. Okay, I'm going to yeah. see it. I'm going to look for it. Uh, so, yeah, everybody check that out for sure. You'll see Chappelle on there, crushing it with Frank Caliendo. See me crushing it with Sam Tripoli, November 28th, Saturday. 
Uh, stand up Scottsdale in the side room. Again, tickets are 15 bucks. Pay and go. We're going to have a lot of fun. No drink minimum. So it's literally, it could just be $15 for your whole night. Uh, and I hope to see you guys there. Nance? Yeah. Have a good Thanksgiving. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, yeah. You, have a good one. Hopefully, I do. Hopefully, the have baby, baby kind of works itself out so you can eat a, a feast. So either having it before or at least after you eat. Yeah. Um, Chappelle, have a good Thanksgiving, man, even though you don't celebrate holidays. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. I just hate family gatherings. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> and everybody else, have a, a good Thanksgiving. Be safe on Black Friday. Stay just out of Walmart wait for Cyber Monday. Or what I like to call Chappelle Friday. Chappelle Friday. <laughs> oh, I think I'd go to Chappelle Friday. I mean, wait in line for Chappelle. I wouldn't camp. That's awesome. But I'd wait in line. <laughs> everybody, have a good week. We'll talk to you later. Hey, yo, listen to another show on the Four Odd Radio Network. For more shows, you can go and check out fouroddradio.com. Alice, hey.